Hi everyone, this is Crash Me Twice and today I would like to show you the switch box which controls the servo, which activates the bypass on the rudder panel stamper mod. Here's the high torque servo I used for it. It can take from 6 to 8.4 volts and I will be running it at 7. I laid out all the parts I used for the switch box. Starting out with the aluminum case I got from AliExpress, then I have a relay, the microcontroller, Arduino, Micro Amiga, two trim pots, each 100 kilo ohm each. I have two LED voltmeter modules, the bigger one I only use for testing. Here's the buck controller, a Molex connector, female, a double piggybacked servo connector, a DB9 connector, and LEDs and resistors for them. Now I have here a USB PCI bracket with two ports, female, the toggle switch and the cover. The electronic diagram shown here should make it easy to identify all the parts and how they are connected to each other. The code for the Arduino is fairly simple and straightforward. Both can be downloaded from either my website or the Crash Me Twice Discord channel. All the links are in the description. Here I'm using a test setup to verify that everything works and make necessary adjustments to the code if needed. The aluminum servo horn came with the servo horn and as it rarely happens, was a perfect fit for my setup. A quick test run and all works as intended. All runs currently on the standard Arduino Uno, but I will upload the code later to the Arduino Micro, which will go into the switch box. In my workshop, I'm milling the connection ports into the aluminum case. This takes a bit of time and I had to be precise. I am machining each of the ports with an 8 inch end mill. It's a 4 fluid. Here you see the two ports for the USB connectors, followed by the port for the Molex power connector, then the DB9 connector, then the piggyback servo connectors, and finally finishing it off by drilling a hole for the power LED, indicating if the switch box is on or off. I am test fitting the buck controller and drilling and tapping for 632 standoffs. You can see here that I have already drilled two mounting holes in the bottom of the switch box case, as it will be mounted with two 8mm bolts to a T-slot profile. Now all the electronic parts and ports are ready for the install into the switch box. It was a bit difficult to get the nuts onto the buck controller because the standoffs are installed belly up. Ok, all done and mounted to the T-slot. It works just dandy and now I can use the switch to control the damper bypass on the rudder panels. The switch box turns on at the same time when the rudders are switched on at the USB hub. You may want to check out the diagram I made which tells the whole story. Now it's time to put the cover on and I call it done. I also made a Molex power distribution bracket you can see next to the switch box. It not only supplies the main power to the box for the servo, but also allows me to get power to future projects I will be adding. Some of the external connections like the switch are still temporary, until at least I have made a control panel for it.
I'm very pleased I took this route. You can see how well it works from this clip. I'm ready for takeoff and spending some time enjoying this labor of love. I am planning more projects in the future so please keep an eye out for my next video. And don't forget to check out my Discord channel and to visit my website for project downloads. I hope you all enjoyed this build and hope I earned a like from you. Crash me twice, out. <laughs>